We all want to be known as the safest photographer around. But you may not know exactly what you need to be doing and what to be looking for. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my tips on being the safest photographer around. So the first consideration when you're working with newborns and especially with props is when you're looking at your props, what is it made of? Now specifically, I'm talking about glass. You never ever want to be using glass with a newborn and for the reasons that it could break, um, that's just not a risk worth taking. So just being mindful of that when you're looking at your props saying ixnay to the glass. So the second consideration when you're looking at your props is what did this actually contain? One time I was shopping at this antique store and I fell in love with this beautiful, beautiful box. It had this ornate script on it. I knew it was gonna be super dreamy in my newborn sessions. However, when I read the fine print on what it actually contained, it had actually contained sheep dip or another corrosive material. And when you're working with tiny little newborns with their delicate little skin, you'd wanna make sure that you're not putting a baby in something that could have contained something corrosive, explosive, acid, anything that could harm them. So when it comes to looking at your props, just make sure that they are safe and it's not something that has contained something icky like that too. So the next consideration would be looking at the edges around it, making sure that there's no splinters, any rust, anything that babies could harm themselves on. Um, a lot of these old buckets have beautiful little handles. So when you're working with them, making sure that that area is always covered and making sure that there's not any, any way a baby could kind of tip over or lean over into it, making sure that it is the safest, safest, safest. If you need to file things down, if you need to grab um, a bit of sandpaper to work on the inside of a crate, if it's got those, those edges, just making sure that you're doing that and taking precautions to make sure baby is safe. The next consideration is rust, making sure that rust is not on the bucket or anywhere it can touch the baby. For what I really know about rust, and don't quote me on this, rust and punctures can cause tetanus, and that's not something that you want to be responsible for or even in the arena with. Making sure that these items are just rust free or any of the rust or that antiquing or patina is always just on the outside and nowhere a baby could touch. The next consideration is, is it clean or can it be clean? Now, I know one of the most amazing shots and, uh, and we often get is images with babies in firefighter gear. Now, this is a massive red flag to me because if you think about it, babies and the chemicals that are being used to be put out fires, like that's, mm -mm, I don't wanna be touching that. If the, if the parents come and they are really wishing for this image, I always ask, have the equipment been clean? And I explain, I explain that, you know, you're using heavy duty chemicals to fight fire. There's all the black stuff that's covering the soot, that's covering all the boots, all the hats, all their, their gear. I don't want that all over their baby. That, that's cancerous causing material, right? Like I don't want that around them. So I, in my advice is if you have that situation where you are getting things that may or may not be clean, it is your job to always put that baby safety first, to think of these things, to make sure that they're gonna be safe with you. So the next consideration is using hand weights or sandbags inside your props to avoid tipping. Now, a lot of the times we use these beautiful baskets. Now, the problem is, is babies, their head, it's a huge percentage of their body weight. And what happens is when they are leaning, especially in a position like this, they have the potential to tip that basket entirely forward. Now, what I like to do is put hand weights or 10 pound weights, I usually put about 20 pounds inside my basket to make sure that it's not gonna tip forward. Making sure that you have that spotter beside the baby to make sure that you know tipping is never going to be an issue, but actually adding those extra hand weights in there is double downing on that security. So my seventh tip is having a spotter. Having those extra hands, having someone watching that baby is paramount in keeping that baby safe. You never wanna walk away from a baby or get distracted. You always wanna have someone there. If you are not with the baby, someone else is. And if it means hiring an assistant or using some extra hands for mom and dad, always have someone else with you spotting the baby. 
So when you're getting started with newborn photography, it is always lovely to have one wrap that you can really nail. What I'd love for you to do is to come join me for the free training on the one wrap every photographer needs to know. You're going to love it and it's going to help you get on your way with your newborn photography. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you love this video, give me a thumbs up, tag me on Instagram, show me your wraps, show me you're being safe. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode.